Hey everybody, I want to show you something kind of neat here. Um, the Orion Nebula again, of course, right? Now, I have gone out and looked at other nebulas before I'm about to show you what I'm going to show you. And although I can find some interesting lines and patterns, for whatever reason, nothing seems to compare to this Orion Nebula. And it's not because I'm partial to it, it's because there's something going on here extra special. There is, for whatever reason, it seems to be made up of, it almost seems like it's extremely, it seems like it's a conscious being, or it's a mass conscious. When I look at this thing, and a lot of people can't see it, and I'm going to show you something that's really, really interesting here in just a second. But I can see an almost an infinite number of various life forms from humans to birds to various body parts like eyes and you know anything you can possibly think of but for some whatever reason it is only seems to be as common in the Orion Nebula for whatever reason I can't seem to find the same type of things in other nebulas. Now I can find some very interesting patterns, but nothing compared to the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula, just eyes for an example, you know, if I if I zoom in, you know, I'm sure that some of you can probably see this right here. The shape of this eye right here. Let me just go ahead and The shape of that eye right there alone, okay, is superb. It's actually as if it were alive. And I'm finding that kind of thing all over the Orion Nebula. And I'm finding it down to actual bone detail. I'm talking about you see an actual arm with a hand attached to it with five fingers and all of the arm uh, bones in the arm are there. I'm talking vertebrae. I mean, it's amazing, and I'm going to be able to show it to you here with little, very, very little um, messing with the picture, because that's the whole purpose, right? I want to show you that this stuff actually exists without me messing with it, really. If I have to mess with it a little bit more because you can't see it, so be it. We'll do it in the next video. But for right now, I'm going to see if I can show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. So let's bring that back to normal. Probably have to create another one actually. Photo filter does not store too many undos. Okay, here's what I want you to look at. This right here is just full of body parts. <laughs> and what we're gonna be looking at is we're going to be looking at We're going to be looking at this part right here. Now imagine that this right here is a globe or a ball and there's an arm holding it. And so what we've got here is I'm going to show you there is vertebrae that's going to pop out. This is this this is the torso area right here that we're focusing on. This is going to be the torso. And the arm that comes out here and hangs down. All I do is just apply in this whole area, all I'm going to do is just apply uh, less illumination and a little bit of contrast. And I want you to see the vertebrae and the arm bones and the hand bones pop out. Now, if you can't see it um, because you're not able to pull that kind of stuff out yet, let me know and I'll produce a video and I'll show you in detail. Because what we got to do is where it's less dense as far as the light goes, what we're going to do is it will just apply a shadow effect so all the things that are supposed to stand out stand out all the lines and then we'll be able to see all the bones really clear but I want to try to do it with little to no manipulation right now for you okay so let's reduce the illumination okay now what you're going to notice right here is this is the hand and this is the arm going up 
and uh, this is the torso remember and this is the vertebrae back here you're gonna notice it here in just a second okay that's actually pretty good right there okay if you can see this right here um, it's this is the wrist these are the fingers right here if I were to take out all of the fuzzy dark area just where we could see the uh, the brighter lines you would see highly detailed bone structure all the way down the arm forming an elbow all the way down to the fingers and the appendages and then right here is where you have your so I can make this stuff stand out let's just sm smaller rectangle for you Now you can't you can't find this kind of thing in any other place that I've seen where you see all these appendages like this. Um, you can start to see the arm bones, and the, this actually forms five fingers. The problem is is that um, I'm I'm basically taking away the fingers along with it. Um, let me show you this one over here. This is the vertebrae. Can you see that back there? That actually forms a very structured vertebrae. Now here's the interesting thing. I showed Dan Winter what I was seeing out here a while ago. And I did get a response from him. He's a very busy man, but he was, he was able to respond to me. And what he told me was the plasma self-organizes. So I don't know how this relates to anything as far as creation or life in the universe but it seems to be that what I'm finding I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna say that the Orion Nebula from everything that I've seen probably is has something to do with creation and I believe that I believe that we were possibly created in something like this because this stuff knows what life looks like. And I haven't seen this kind of thing anywhere else except for the Orion Nebula. You can go out and look at any other nebula. You may find an eye or two, but you're not gonna find anything like, um, for example, the bird, uh, this bird's head right here. These just amazing, um, amazing body appendages and just stuff all over the place, just piled on top of each other everywhere. You won't find that, I don't believe, and I challenge anyone, I challenge anyone to go out there and find, I mean, just like this right here, it's, it's a perfect dragon's head. Underneath this thing. Now you've seen my, and this is basically one of the dragons in my intro, as well as this guy right here but they're so highly detailed okay they're so highly detailed with the nostrils and the snout the eye and everything the way everything is formed in the bone structure there's something more going on here and I, I wanted to show you guys this if you can't see some of the stuff you know I can create a video where I can bring it out a little bit more but this bone structure and stuff like here this is incredible and um, and it actually forms into a shoulder and then you have a vertebrae and everything so this is just amazing and uh, I wanted to bring it to you because I mean there's actually even a uh, looks like an insect right here let me show you something see it looks like a mantis head or something like that this is just absolutely amazing to me um, now, you don't find this kind of stuff by chance everywhere. Trust me, I spend a lot of time looking at stuff like this, and this is just absolutely amazing. I challenge anyone out there to find the amount of life that I'm finding all over the Orion Nebula in any other place in this small of an area like this. I challenge anybody to do it. How's that? All right, I'll talk to you all soon.